uh, this stream is extremely squeezed in, so if it has to end uh, a bit sooner than I like, or whatever, I don't know how long this direct is, but yeah, I'm late to it. Um, that just means people's already seen it. Um, my Bush Wonder looks cool. I'm not like extremely overjoyed, excited about this like I am with uh, like I was with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Which, by the way, when is a regular direct gonna happen so I can, you know? Wish for Tears of the Kingdom DLC. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I got the YouTube pulled up right here. I'm gonna do it. Shut up. And another direct, hopefully. Where are you, Jonathan? Uh, for some reason you can't like seek on here, so I guess we just keep going until we find it. I don't know how long it was. No? How short was this direct? Okay, yeah, I was like, does this even have it? Not yet. Whoa. There we go. This is the beginning. Ooh, so exciting. I hope those things are you're able to turn them off. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. He's a little caterpillar. The king of the Koopas had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Bowser's the villain? No. He merged with the castle? It's a living castle? That's gonna be a fun final level. What? Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. What just happened? Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario oh, Brothers boy. Wonder Game. Let's jump in. This Flowers. is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Wait, Your what? Adventure I can pause and rewind. Making a total of 
seven areas. It's weird how they outline this one specifically. Yes, to explore. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Oh, wow. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. These backgrounds are like multiple islands. Dive into the sea and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. A whole bunch of new enemies. A forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of courses await in each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. I hope you there's hidden levels really open that are very mind. hidden. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to like take on a particular course, Mario you can World. Try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Oh wow! Sand, Onward and upward. They say you stupid up things. Sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. This is. I wonder if you can get over there. This is uh. Coins. You share your what was it? Viewfinder you. levels. Besides Mario, you can also. I didn't say you could turn it off, but uh, you can't turn it off. Peach, Daisy, one of two toads, and Toadette. Two toads, they which ones? Same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. The Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. It's for the little Careful brother. Though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit, so watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. <laughs> That's such a funny Yoshi face. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Hoppy <laughs> cat. Piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. That's so funny. Fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. That goo's Mumsies a new feature. Can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. I don't think there's ever been goo Mom in Mario. Mom anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more so new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas. Those Goomba aren't new. Boos. Locky twos and other familiar foes are also here. Don't say Lakitu like that. Ooh. Next, let's look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Attack. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. Destroy blocks. And even huh. do this. Wow. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? I if see. You store water in your trunk. And See? Spray it out. Who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? Please let me turn not them just off. Mario, though. Luigi, the Toads, <laughs> Peach, Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. It's so goofy. The bubble form allows you to blow light, floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them, like platforms. 
That's what I wanted to see. Bubbles make it a bit easier that to looks get to those hard to reach cooler. places. Just like that. Yes, more secrets. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. It's like from this Mario nice Galaxy. With spiky or hard-headed enemies of Breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and move through the ground. Mm. In a tough spot, dig away. You can even burrow Ooh. into the ceiling. Whoa! Wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. I kind of hate the flowers. More than oh, even I thought. Hang on to an extra power up. Of course. Pinch, bust out a power up. Hmm, that's sweet. Or swap them to better fit the situation. This is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it. Ooh, when it said by who? That's You're the, the makers of the out. game. Ooh, I heard in when you touch a wonder flower the freaking ancient a temples causing some uh, tablet. Changes. I can't listen to these and talk at the same moving. time. A stampede of enemies can appear. The terrain may tilt. You can end up in a free fall. What happens if you just don't grab it, might, though? Uh, up. You just play the level in a completely different way. Whoa, that's kind of funny. Or you might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? It's Mario Odyssey. Or a spike ball. Or blow up like a balloon. When you balloon Mario power, returns. Always expect the unexpected. Wonderful. Collect a wonder Wonderful. seed and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the Parachute Cap Badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the Wall Climb Jump Badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the Dolphin Kick Badge. You can also break underwater blocks. That's convenient. Charge up a bounding leap with the Crouching High Jump Badge. Oh, like from my Tunes. in midair and what? the walls Please with the swing. Crumbling Vine Badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. These are cool, but I hope the game's hard enough. Draw in nearby Mula to where with the cold it'll actually be badge. very helpful. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. <laughs> you will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. Oh. And you can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one mm. badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! While others can be purchased from poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins this you collect cool. in courses for badges. Oh, um, is there internet? People can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. 
If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Oh, that's a better bubble. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi, Stack, please, or please stack. That's hilarious. No stacking. Though. If you connect online, you might see other mm -hmm. players on the world map and in courses. Huh. These are people from around the world. I don't world really care for this. Game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. <laughs> they put Just Dark like Souls in into defeated, Mario. Back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, <laughs> it's Dark Souls and Mario. They have a Dark Souls online, multiplayer mechanics. This new adventure together. Oh, I hope the you frame rate's not that low in game. In a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. You can that seems way too easy, though. From the Poplin shops to add more to your collection, you never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players. <laughs> this is like death adventure. stranding, actually. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will earn you heart points. While playing That's online, hilarious. you also have the option of creating a room to get <gasps> together with friends. In oh, but it's not room, actual You can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Then make a There's nothing course. stopping you from cheating at the beginning. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, others like a battle you mode. Can enhance your experience with online play. What a yeah, it's not a typical thing to have it, so I guess it was wishful thinking, but be a nice feature. Looks fun. Can't wait to play it with Jonathan. Um, if I get a capture card, you know, it might be a streamed slash recorded thing. Probably streamed. With Mario and friends, when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition is also on the way. If you look closely, Mario. Mario and some hidden coins. The Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's the coin layout. From Mario the Red Edition World one one. October The World 1-1. One one. I said one three times. It's the World 1-1 one one coin layout. In the hidden room. Well. That sure was a Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct. Oh, I could have just looked at that. <laughs> Uh, my favorite part is just like, I don't even know if I'm going to use it because it looks like it'd make the game too easy. But all like the <laughs> online Dark Souls, Death Stranding stuff. That's such a, I never thought Nintendo would put that in a Mario game. That's just kind of funny to me. Um, other than that, uh, I'm glad Daisy's in the game. And that's been something that's already been revealed. There's a lot of playable characters. I'm glad they're just like not going like we have to have four characters. Exactly. One for each player. They'll just, you know, say here's all these characters.
Um, the new style is cool too. I saw some stuff about like stuff we haven't seen before, like the Yoshi's. <laughs> Whenever they have something in their mouth, their like lip goes a little bit over their nose and it looks funny. Is that here? Oh, I can't see because I'll be pain to find. Badges are cool. Uh, I hope the game is hard enough to where I want to actually choose which one and not just like kind of... I guess that's just the main thing. I'm hoping this game is... I mean, not hard, but hard enough. I hope it's not easy. Like, Kirby Star Ally is easy, you know? I'm guessing there's no lives in the game. No, there is, huh? I thought that'd be something Nintendo completely ditched his lives, because, you know, people say lives are so... Um... They're so... Old now. We don't use lives anymore. Got rid of them in a Mario Odyssey. And such. But then again, I guess if no more lives, when are they ever going to use a one-up in these games? Alright, well... Bye, stream.